Okay, now it should be fine. Coming through. Okay, so I was saying we are at f uh, Philly today and uh, we are going to Boston's. So there is some frame rate issue going on. I'm not sure if you guys see it smooth or if it's only me. And I am getting about 50 frames or so. It should be fine. But anyways, I have the flight plan loaded. Doesn't look like there will be a lot of weather. 10 miles, 10 miles visibility scattered at 4.3. Broken at 1.8. 6 degrees temperature 3.003. Doesn't look bad at all today. Even Boston is relatively clear. Let's check Boston weather. Yeah, there's a lot of winds though. So it'll be a fun landing that way. But few at 250. 29080. Yeah, nothing much going on except it's quite windy. I'm sure you can hear it here. Well, here it's only 8 knots, but I can still hear the wind. So it'll be a fun windy landing. All right, let's start prepping our aircraft. Uh, the frames are really getting hit today. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to disable the traffic and see if that solves the problem. Not sure. Yeah, much better, much better. We're going to keep the traffic off today. Not sure why it's happening. I mean, it's still not that good, but it be it's, be it's better than having the traffic on. Anyways, let's start. Batteries can come on. External power can come on. Brandon Brandon says hello just mentioned you over on simple takeoffs really enjoy both your channels thank you man thanks a lot glad you're here I'm sure you can pull up two streams on two different tabs I think simple takeoffs is streaming too I was watching his stream while I was in my class I wasn't on chat but I was watching his stream. I think he was flying out of Boston to somewhere I forgot. We are going to Boston. Thanks Brandon. Okay we have everything powered up. We can start loading the aircraft. Have the jetway connected? Yes we do. We'll do a fast 5 minute load. Let's try to get out faster than yesterday. Keep wasting a lot of time. These can go to nav. Start from the bottom here. Strobes can go to auto. Nav lights can come on right now. Uh, no smoking can go to auto. And uh, <coughs> emergency lights can come um, as well. And then we can turn on all the fuel pumps right now. We won't be doing the fire test and stuff. So that's fine. Overhead panel is good. Let's start with our MCDU or FMGS or FMS or FMC, whatever you call it. Initializing the flight here. And let's go check. Uh, there's still, s uh, it says seven minutes for the IRS alignment. But we should be good to fill all of these in. Okay, let's 
pull up our OFP here. Love how seamless the integration is with Phoenix, honestly. Okay, it's FFT764. We got to know that American f American Airlines fly a really high cost index. Let's see what it is today. It's five. So very, very conservative. Uh, three, I think it's 360, 350. Okay. Not sure why it keeps giving us such high flight levels for these uh, short flights. It's a really short flight. I don't know if we'll even reach. Um, I don't know if we'll even reach 350. That's what happened yesterday. We were given a flight level of 360 from um, Detroit to um, Chicago, but then there was barely any cruise. There was barely like 30 seconds of cruise. That's it. And that too, I had to do an open climb to actually get to the cruise altitude faster. Otherwise, they were both intersecting. D is done. I diff. So next is flight plan. Let's see what our departure is. I'm pretty sure our runway was 27 left, but let's just confirm. 27, 27 left. We are directly going to ditch. Hmm. Sounds like me. 27 left. There will be no SID. Uh, we are directly going to ditch which is here. Let's remove this flight plan discontinuity. Okay. And then for the arrival. It's the same arrival that we flew the other day. Runway 27, row book 3. And JFK will be our transition. So we'll do ILS 27. I'm still getting used to the used to the normal approaches on this. And then we'll do special ones. So I think tomorrow we have one coming up. Tomorrow I'm planning to definitely fly into um, DCA. So it'll be a fun river visual approach. I'm really, really looking forward to that. But before that I wanted to master just normal approaches on this plane. JFK new ease. I think yesterday we had to mess with the mess with the waypoints a little bit. So let's see if we have to do the same thing today or it's fine. After hook to its manual, we'll remove the manual so that we can Okay, temporary insert. Loner. Loner is where we need to be at 3000. And then repeat. So loner will be our final waypoint. I think HOKDU is our final waypoint of the star and then loner will be where we turn into the um, into the ILS. Okay, that makes sense. So diff and then rip. So radnav is our next. We don't need to fill anything in. We are not doing a we are not doing anything special. Um in it B, let's see. IRS is not aligned yet, but boarding is complete. I think we are pretty light today. Yeah, only 86 passengers. We are going really light. I think we were at about 129k pounds yesterday. Quite heavy. But today we are at 115. Okay, uh, zero fuel weight is 115.28 and uh, Max ZFW, Z, ZFW is 29.5, 115.2 and 29.5. I'll enter that 115.2 and 29.5. And we are carrying a block fuel of 12, I'll say 12.1. Okay, it should uh, it should it'll take a while because I think it it needs the IRS aligned before it does all the calculations for us. If I'm not wrong, takeoff weight is 126.9, which I think I saw here. One, yeah, somewhere around. Is it? It counts for taxiing as well, I think.
we'll have to wait for two more minutes to get the IRS aligned meanwhile what can we do let's go to I want to check out the weather feature in Navigraph I thought they implemented that but I have never looked at it so let's see let's see if we can pull up weather here or is it not on this you can only pull it up on the actual um, Navigraph plugin I'm off to wasting time again but I really want to check this out okay so now what do we do to get weather I definitely read that they implemented weather but not sure how to pull it up or whether you can there's nothing here anyways let's not mess with that uh, is our ILS I I R S not ILS yep IRS is aligned our alternate was I think four point something uh, where did it go alternate was four yeah we'll be landing with 1.1 extra in case something okay that is good uh, diff rip we did the init b page you can check the fuel predictions that looks fine and then uh, we can copy the active flight plan to secondary and now we can come to performance i'm not going to do flex as usual because I don't know how to lock my throttle um, in that flex position. I don't know how to explain but basically there's no detent on my throttle in the flex position so I can't really lock it there. Okay, let's go to performance. Sync load sheet, sync live weather, we are taking off from two seven left right yeah two seven left and the runway is dry nothing going on there so let's calculate oh I might have to yeah I need to do yes on force toga and we are also taking off with packs on the so packs will also be on outside temperature is six degrees I don't think it's humid we won't need anti ice let's calculate it again okay 115 130 130 and flaps 2 oh interesting this is the first time we'll be doing a flaps 2 takeoff on this airplane usually gives us flaps 1 i think we are too 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 light today or maybe the runway is too short i don't know if you're too light then we'll be able to do with uh, 1 115 130 130 flaps 2 and what is the trim down point 1 the N 0.1 we're not doing flex to temp acceleration engine out acceleration altitude is 10 10 and 10 10 here as well okay <coughs> performance page is filled in as well let's go through oh and QNH yeah QNH was 3003 if I'm not wrong 3003 yeah get that real quick 3003 
I need to sync the which reminds me let's go to sim settings are a callouts and let's enable all the callouts except five and where did the if is link let's link it so that we don't have to change on both the sides captain and co-pilot all right we are good for the before start checklist so let's pull that up i think it's the i don't know if it's philly that is killing frames or what is it frames are really bad here or maybe it is this freeware add-on airport that is killing the frames because the city is not that dense right i mean it is but not that dense also getting some screen tears i don't know if you see it okay documents before start cockpit prep is complete uh, barrel ref is set a cars is initialized parking brake is set fuel on board we have checked it we have 14k oh sorry 12k 12.1 12.1 um nnb page is loaded flex temps we are not doing a flex takeoff takeoff speed 11 one, one 115 130 130 verified um pack signs yeah we can turn the seat belt signs on now beacon can come on transponder to auto and doors all closed so let's verify that real quick doors are all closed can remove oil well, let's wait for the apus to start and all okay ta uh, my uh, tcas is well sorry yeah tcas transponder not tcas T transponder is on auto and beacon lights are on i'll go ahead and start the apu Six people <coughs> watching today. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys had a good day. I tried. I think this will be the load sheet yep we can accept the load sheet we are good if you is powering up Okay, APU is available. We can start the APU bleed now and disconnect external power. Now that we have disconnected the external power, I can remove the chokes and cones and also get rid of the GPU and connect the tug because we are almost ready to push back. Now, uh, we're going to taxi to 27 left. So that's going to be an easy taxi starting We'll push back in this direction, yeah. And then we'll go straight here onto this taxiway. Well, onto this taxiway here and then onto this taxiway. Come back here and right here. This is where the holding point for 27 left is. Quite straightforward taxi. Okay, tug is connected. Let's go ahead and take the parking brakes brakes out. We can change the ignition starts ignition start switch to ignition start and start engine one after we start taxiing. Sorry, engine two.
Turn on constraints on both sides. I don't think we do have any constraints except the 250 normal 250 limit. Yeah, we don't have any constraints out of this departure. But we will have a lot of constraints on the arrival. Oh, you see that? See what it did? There's like barely any cruise. I, I thought so because a really short flight. I don't know why. Yeah, see? Like on top of each other. I think we'll have to edit the cost index and uh, do an open climb to get, get up there as soon as possible. Rahul says he's gonna stream as well. I'll jump on Discord. What are you flying? Oh shit, I stopped too early. Two is available. Start one. Rahul, my man, is going through some trouble in his PhD, but he has got to stream. You know. All right, stopped here. Let's get the parking brakes set again. And once engine two is up, we'll go through all the other flows. We can set this directly to thirty-five thousand because we have no restrictions, and I'm going to open climb. Okay, engine 2 is available as well. Um, now that we have all, there's no white lights. Everything is on the engine, so we can turn off APU bleed and also turn off the APU itself. We can turn on the taxi lights, runway turn off light. Actually, you know what? We don't need the runway turn off lights. It's too, um, too bright outside. What else? We can change the TCAS to TARA. Set our flaps to takeoff setting, which is flaps of two. And the ground spoilers go max on the auto brakes. Hmm. And we can go through the after start check. Ground equipment is remote. Anti ice, we don't need it today. Flaps are set to 2, APU is off, yellow electric pump is off, trims uh, we need to set it to point 0.2 down, so that is point 0.2 down, um, cabin doors armed and checked I think, where's the doors, yep, all slides are armed and doors are closed, uh, ecam status is also checked, there's no blues all greens. Um, before takeoff, we'll go through this later. You know what? Let's go ahead and do our flight controls check here as well. Let's see if it automatically detects my... No, it did not. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes it does. I don't know if it's the phase of the flight where you do it and it detects. A full left, full right aileron. Pull up pitch and full down on the elevators, full left rudder, full right rudder, everything looks good. Change it back to all. Right controls check is done. I think we are ready to taxi. One last check on the overhead panel. Yep. I think we are good to taxi. Faster than yesterday. Murtada says hi. Hi, hey man. What's up? Where are you from?
I need to do something to bring chat on my screen. I mean, sometimes there's no one in chat, but sometimes there is someone. The other day, I think the first day that I streamed, Michael was here, Simple Takeoffs was here. Oh, you're from Iraq, okay. Nice. I want to fly in other countries too. Maybe we'll start with some uh, Europe flights, I guess. We start taxiing and people start suddenly start talking. It's the other way around usually on actual flights where people stop talking once. I hope you guys can also hear the cabin sounds. I haven't turned the sim sounds that low. Okay, we'll assume there's no one coming on 27 right and just cross the runway. Rahul says, I don't remember getting poor performance on KPHL last time I checked. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And I'm still getting 55 frames, but it is kind of stuttery. Did you also have that freeware add-on that is there on um, flightsim.to? That's what I just got before starting the flight. I don't know if it's that add-on or I'll probably remove it and check again offline. I, I don't feel it right now, but when I was panning around in the uh, at the gate I, I did feel some drops here and there but when i pulled up the developer mode overlay it was around 50 55 frames or so i i should be doing like 70 or something but it's still low Okay, we are at the holding point, so I'm just going to hold for a little bit and wait. Oh, so we are doing a full, yeah, we are doing a full turn and then, okay, takeoff config check, everything is normal. We turn on the weather radar just for the sake of getting rid of that error because we don't really have a weather radar here. Okay, lights can come on. Before takeoff, uh, flight controls are checked. TCAS is set to TARA. Departure brief, there is no brief. We are directly going to ditch. <laughs> Love saying that. Takeoff data and FMA, all good. Flaps are set, config, uh, we are on flaps 2. Ecam memo, yes, take off no blue. Take off runway, we are on 27 left. Strobes are on, packs are on as well. We are doing a packs on takeoff. After taking off, positive jet, we'll pull the landing gear. Ecam will be checked and barrow ref turned. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just do a rolling takeoff out of here. What is going on? Oh, by mistake I on the parking brake on instead of off. Fago says, uh, should a 2080 Super and Ryzen 7 run MSFS 
smooth with PMD G730. I'm pretty sure it should. 1020 frames. So you're saying that you have that PC and still you're getting 1020 frames? That makes no sense. 2070 Super is pre uh, sorry. 2080 Super is a, is a is a pretty good card. And if you are on Ryzen 7, you should not be getting uh, 1020 FPS for sure. Did you check out the settings video that I had put out? Hold on, I'll take off and then I'll talk to you. Uh, SRS runway verified, auto throttle is enabled. V1 and rotate. Look at that car right on the runway. Okay, positive rate gear up. Rahul says probably the 737. I don't think so. 737 performs well enough. Gear is up. We'll slowly go out on flaps as well. Murtada says I have a GTX 1080 and I get 40 to exactly. So, I, so I was exactly on. I was on GTX 1080 and uh, 6700K and I used to easily get uh, at least 40 FPS, 30, 40 FPS on and this was on 2K, not even 1080p. So I think there's something going on Pego, with your system. Could it be because it is installed on my D drive or no? So what is your D drive? Is your D drive, is your D drive a SSD or is it? A hard drive but honestly between those two also you shouldn't be seeing such a drastic performance difference you should still be able to get good performance check out that settings video that I put out a lot of people a lot of people gained quite a bit of performance by by changing their settings to the ones that I had recommended on that video. It's like the pinned video on my channel. So if you go to my channel, you'll probably see that first. If not, uh, you'll recognize that, that 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 one has like the most views views out of all the videos. So <laughs> you'll see it. Guys, if you're watching, please like the video. Helps get more reach. Okay, we are at 9000. I am going to change to open climb. Oh, actually. Oh, you said, okay. Yes, you have all the settings. Okay. One more thing that you can do is uh, when you are running the sim, try to open your task manager and uh, check what your CPU and GPU is doing. Check what they are doing. Because on my 58 X3, 5800X3D, uh, I had this problem where my CPU was getting logged at 3.6 gigahertz. So is some, if something like that is happening, then it's possible that you could have low FPS. So just go to task manager and uh, while running the sim and check what your CPU usage is and your GPU usage is. 
if you have uh, let me see what you had again if you have a 2080 super and ryzen 7 are you running at 1080p or are you running at 2k resolution if you're running at 1080p then 2080 super should be fine you, you should probably be only using like 70 80 percent of that card but if you're running 2k also yeah one more thing so and again i'm not sure if you know this but if, if you know it i'm sorry but you can pull up developers mode here and uh, check whether you are limited by your main thread or whether you are limited by your gpu along with checking what's going on on the task manager so that will help you at least understand what is limiting your performance and then you can troubleshoot it accordingly Murtada says, do you broadcast live on other platforms? No, I do not. Honestly, I barely have time to... I wasn't even streaming until... Until like three days back. If you see my last video upload was about five, five months back or something like that. Yeah, I can help you. I can try to help you on Discord not an expert he said you'll gift nitro you don't have to do that man it's all good i'll help you i can help you out tomorrow night too loud i can reduce the sounds in here okay tell me now is it better We are at 18,000 change to standard. Oh, I did not set this one. That's fine. Rahul, is it better now or is it still? I don't know how much more I can cut. It's already at minus 19. Oh, okay. So you have the KPHL add-on and you're still saying that it's good on frames. I don't know. I also checked my CPU usage. It's, it says... Uh, you should try multicast because there is little support here. What do you mean multicast so you can basically stream on different platforms i mean i can stream on twitch i guess but because i had only a youtube channel i just stuck to my youtube channel i don't have donations enabled or anything so whatever i just i just stream for fun You guys cannot even donate, honestly. I cannot legally take any donations if I'm not wrong. Because I live in the US on a work visa. So I cannot earn from anything except my daytime job. If it is through Twitch or YouTube, I cannot. That's why I have a paper donation link. That is fine. But I cannot have any monetary gains from Twitch or YouTube. Because that 
if i if i earn money from my youtube channel that becomes a uh, i think they call it that you are you are an employee of google or something like that something ridiculous i don't know but basically i cannot on you can l you can live in facebook and twitch and youtube in the same time with one stream do i have to have a different pc for that because i don't think my pc will handle that kind of i don't know i'll try i'll try to do that i'll look into that I do have a Facebook page, I do have a Twitch account and obviously YouTube channel is this one. But I've never tried streaming on all three all three platforms together. I'll look into that for sure. How do you catch up with the chat? And like right now I don't have a lot of people in chat, but imagine someone who is big. Like how do you catch up with all the chat on all three platforms? I guess you just ignore. <laughs> Okay, now we have a little bit of cruise not not a lot but we have a little bit of cruise well it's good that we have some audience today glad rahul fago Murtadha and everyone is here. So me and Rahul are planning to do podcasts on live stream. And uh, Fago, I did see your message on Discord. I'll get back to you. You can with this. What is that? I don't know how to read that. YouTube doesn't even this site. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> Pego says, do you work for Google? No, I don't. I said it would be like working for Google if you earn through a YouTube channel. I'm sure we can do it with OBS as well, the multicast thing that you're talking about, because it does have that feature. I just haven't looked into it. Again, it's a short flight. Seatbelt signs will stay on. Looks great outside. Let's go out. Isn't that a great shot? Maybe from top down. Let's get in. Okay, almost at cruise. Oh. Let's start prepping for the approach. Performance next, next, next. Let me make sure I descend and then. Murtada says, "See you, my friend. It's PUBG time." <laughs> All right, man. See you. You have a you have a good day. On I I don't know what's the time there. I think it's day, right? Have a good day. Enjoy your PUBG. Do you play Warzone by any chance? I'm looking for some Warzone buddies. This Warzone 2 just released today, if I'm not wrong. I was watching Doc, Dr. Disrespect play Warzone 2. It's, it's, it looked fun, frustrating, but fun. But I can, I can play for an hour or so with someone.
all right now it says we have reached cruising altitude but we actually haven't <laughs> i don't know if that uh I'm going to start descending at that blue point. I was not running in 1920-1080. So what were you running at? Pego says I was not running at 1920-1080. Is that why? It depends. Were you at a lower resolution than 1920 to 1080 or were you at a higher 240s? Oh, that would do it. That would do it. Bring your resolution down. 2080 Super cannot handle anything more than uh, 1080p. If you want really good frames, that could be it. That could definitely be the reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to change my flight levels from now on. Whatever Simbrief gives for these short flights, it's not right. I could have probably flown like tw two f 250 or something. There's no point of going to 350 and coming back down. We'll still hit our glide path, looks like. Let's enter the destination data now. Our QNH for uh, for Boston is uh, two nine eight one. So two nine eight one and goes here. Temperature in Boston is six degrees dew point zero. Let's enter six here. Winds is already entered, but it looks like two six zero. 13 gusting 90 knots. Wow, it's going to be a fun landing. 260, right? Yeah, 260. 260, 13, but then it's gusting 19. Okay, and for uh, ILS 27 left, we have. I wanted to go to charts, I did not mean to my bad again arrival approach come on two seven what are we landing again <laughs> oh we're landing two seven I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Rowbook 3. Where are we landing? Oh my god. 27. Okay. Okay. A radio minimums 443. Oh yeah, we landed on the same runway the other day. 443 V approach is 129 very slow today we are going to do a config 3 which changes our V approach to 134 which I think I feel a lot more comfortable with Fago let me know if that resolution does not fix your frames I think it should 2040 or something is a lot. It's like double the resolution. What else should I do for the frames? I changed it to 1920. Let me go over my settings with you. Do not copy my settings. My 
my PC has changed since I uploaded that uh, settings video. So here's the thing. Change this to 1920 for sure. Uh, Anti-aliasing you can add uh, anti-aliasing. You can keep it to TAA. That's you need that to make the sim look good. Render scaling. Make sure you have set this to 100. You do not want to upscale or downscale. You may not have. Uh, yeah, you may not have the AMD fidelity effect sharpening. Just keep it to whatever. Doesn't matter. I leave it at 100. DirectX version. Try this out. If it if it performs better for you on DX11, then use DX11. It performs way better for me on DX12. So make sure I always make sure that I'm on DX12 after the sim update 11. So try to mess with this setting and see if your sim performs better or worse on either of those versions. Uh, let's go over the other things. Terrain level of detail. I leave it at 100. It's just fine. Off screen terrain pre caching. No matter what rig you have, especially for the rig that Fago is talking about, which is 2080 Super and uh, what was it? Ryzen 7, right? Yeah. Make sure this is set to ultra because this will significantly reduce your uh, um, stuttering when you are panning around. This setting has helped me a lot. Terrain vector data, all of this buildings, trees, etc. All of this, you can set it to medium. Everything after off screen terrain pre caching can be set to medium. Object level of detail, I used to keep it to 50, but play around with it, see what fits your, uh, see what fits your frames versus looks. I, I don't think this really matters. It's just the level of detail of other objects. I remember having this even off and I couldn't see much of a difference. I think it, I think this controls how far you can see the airport vehicles and all that it's it's not even noticeable if you make this zero because you only want to see all that around you not not further away volumetric clouds i would for sure recommend setting this to ultra because anything below ultra i think high looks still okay but anything below high or ultra is you'll see potato clouds literally potato clouds I want to change and mess with the sim, but trust me. And then texture resolution, you can keep this too high for your rig. Mm, don't go medium, it's too low. And isotropic filtering can be 16x. Super sampling can be 808, doesn't matter. Texture synthesis, keep this to medium. Water waves, make this low. It really hits the frames. Um, shadow maps, you can keep this to 1024. That should be enough for you. Terrain shadows lowest possible. Should not matter. But uh, these are all the things that will help your GPU perform better. As in, if you're GPU bound, then you reduce all of these uh, shadow maps, terrain shadows, contact shadows to make sure that to make sure that you get better frames. If you're CPU bound, then you uh, reduce the terrain level of detail mainly that this is the one that hammers the CPU the most right so where were we contact shadows all of that I talked about this you can keep these to lowest possible shadow maps keep them to medium but terrain shadows you can keep it to lowest possible and contact shadows to medium as well windshield effects I mean if you are flying in rain sure go for ultra but I would recommend setting this to high. Again, don't copy my settings. My PC is it's overpowered. Ambient occlusion, keep this to medium. Don't push it to high. This is again a GPU bugger. Cube map reflections. Make sure this is set to 96 or 128. Don't push it to high. Ray March reflections. Turn this off. Don't need it. Light shafts. Um, you can keep this to ultra or, high, ultra or high. Bloom. You can keep it to on or off depending on whatever you like to see. Depth of field again won't affect your frames. You can keep it to medium, high, ultra, whatever you want. Usually you won't even be enabling depth of field. So it doesn't matter. 
motion blur i keep it off i don't like seeing blurry screens when i'm panning around or on sims i don't even know why we have this motion blur setting everything is so slow moving i don't know why we would have this lens correction i keep it off i don't like um i don't like having it on and th what this setting also does is it will it will skew your uh, click points so in case someone is facing issues with skewed click points make sure that you have this one off and your problem will be solved lens flare uh, i keep it on it looks pretty good when you are like flying into the sun and you see that nice flare coming out of it into the cockpit glass cockpit refresh rate i keep it low even on my high end pc i keep it low because i have seen it does take away a few frames if you switch it to medium high or i think that's medium and high yeah and low really doesn't affect me that much i it performs just fine so that's all the graphic settings again don't copy mine copy what i just said uh camera doesn't matter traffic traffic i have everything to low i don't even need it so i just keep it to low you can copy these if you want and then we go to data your online functionality obviously that'll be on data world graphics on photogrammetry on live air traffic i don't need that shit turn it off uh, live weather is on multiplayer is off don't need that rolling cache okay this one so i personally think if you have about 100 gb spare you should have the rolling cache on and have the 100 gb file like it catches it caches your scenery offline so that it doesn't have to load all of that in fact i would say you can go 200 as well it doesn't matter if you have enough space in your hard drive go to a higher value it will help it will help with panning around and stuff because it, when you're not looking at that when you're not looking in that direction it won't load that part something like that yeah if you read the explanation it says enable rolling cache functionality functionality which allows information to be stored on your computer for quicker access so it won't have to load again and again use your internet again and again so yeah that is it these are the settings that i have and what i was saying is you can enable developer mode and check whether you are cpu bound or gpu bound if the main thread millisecond value is higher than your cpu bound if the um rdr is it rdr yeah rdr thread uh thing is higher the millisecond time is higher than your gpu bound or just check this cpu and gpu there you go hope that helps did uh what i do oh speed breaks that's okay I just made a live settings video. I should just edit this part and upload it as a video. Updated MSFS settings. Sim update 11 ultra graphics MSFS settings. High FPS. Pure views gainer. No flight sim video gains more views than a uh, settings video, by the way. Unless you are variable or uh, that kind of channel, you know. I think we are well prepped for the approach. Uh, 
just waiting to get through this long ass tar that we have to arrive into Boston. Looks looks very clear in Boston. No clouds. Lot of clouds here and look at it here. All empty. I want these kind of clouds when I'm descending. But I'm really lucky. I don't have it. Oh, this is a long, long arrival. What is the company message? Pretty sure it's going to be that delay thing. Happens every day. There you go. AOC delay card on company tablet and allocate as per. I, I don't even know what this shit means. So I don't know if Rahul is still in chat, but I was saying what I was saying before starting all of this setting circus is that we were planning to do a podcast on stream. It will be on his channel as well. His channel name is Sim Chronicles. You can go subscribe to his oh, all the clouds just disappeared in right in front of me. As the weather got updated. Oh. Anyways, so yeah, we were planning to do podcast on stream and topics will be. What the fuck? I don't know what it just did. Anyways, the topics will be. Fitness, investing, I guess education and we'll see what other shit we can come up with. But I think first one will be fitness because we are both big on big on fitness. He is big on lifting, I'm big on like hypertrophy type of workouts. So it'll be fun it'll be a fun conversation. Look at all these restrictions. No wonder it takes. <sighs> so slow. You know what I've also planned when we do longer flights, I'm going to have my piano in front of me. So that when we are cruising or going through these long ass stars, I can play the piano and entertain you guys. really feel like just ignoring all of these and just start descending open descent but then we have the distance to cover anyway so it doesn't really matter it's going to take its time we will looks like we will be at 3000 somewhere here which
so whoever is in chat what would be a good would you prefer an aircraft giveaway or would you prefer an airport giveaway for the 2000 subscriber achievement i'm quite far actually let me see how many i have once uh, 1790 so not that far off only 210 subscribers away ATL 475 says airport very 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 rare opinion but I'm down for that honestly airport is cheaper for me which airport KTL I was thinking aircraft but if everyone says airport I'm good with that I just bought Chicago yesterday the FSDT one I'm already ready to give <laughs> no I won't do that giveaway I'll actually do something from uh, Orbex or if if it's an aircraft I'll think about it I wish A2A was coming up with some aircraft Chicago is nice yes it is but you know what yesterday when I landed at Chicago KTL uh, I was getting about 35 frames I did not realize but my friend Rahul told me after he was uh, after he was watching the stream after watching the stream while uh, like after I was done um, it is a nice airport yeah FSDT is pretty good but check my pecs and I know feels like I'm crying about 38 FPS but it's low what hardware are you on ktl is asking what hardware are you running i haven't set up automated replies yet hold on um uh, i am running so if you go to the description of this video you'll find the hardware so it's a 5800 x3d with uh, running at 4.5 and then a 6950 xt 32 gb ram ai cooling and all that jazz now tell me is 38 fps good I should actually do a dedicated settings video for this hardware but the thing is I don't see a point of doing a settings video for this PC because everything is set to ultra so my settings video will probably be a one minute video it'll be a it'll be a four minute intro and a one minute video Before I had a PC where settings video would actually make sense. It was a GTX 1080 and a 6700K. So according to current standards, a fairly medium range PC. But now this one is a beast. I can't do a settings video on. I can probably do AMD settings video on how to set up your AMD card to get the best performance out of it. But again, AMD card, you, I've never like, I never see AMD card users on uh, YouTube at least uh, at least the streamers everyone has uh, everyone has some kind of Nvidia card it's it's either the 3000 series or now I've also started seeing people using the 4000 series cards uh, what was I checking yeah oh the QNH 2981 
2981 here and this always gets me i'm gonna zoom in all the way 2981 here there we go So yeah, we need a giveaway idea. I'm probably going to open a poll on my channel. First of all, airport or aircraft. Second, if it's airport, which airport? If it's aircraft, which aircraft? Boston. Hey, simple takeoffs. Look who's here. Did you end your stream? I was watching your stream, by the way, um, when I was in class. You're saying we should do a, I should do a Boston giveaway. You already have Boston, bro. Don't you? How late is your class? Simple takeoff is asking. Dude, so there's, let me tell you my schedule. I work from 8 AM to 5 PM. I go to the gym from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I do my homework and shit from uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. From 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. I have a music class because I am into music as well. So that's my day from 8 a.m. up until 10.30 p.m. And after 10.30 p.m. is when I come online and stream here. That's why I wasn't uploading videos on my channel. But now it's actually fun because you guys are actually joining the stream and chatting here. So it's good. Thanks. When do you sleep? <laughs> so it's 11, p it's 11 p.m. right now. Uh, once the stream ends, I'll probably doze off. That's what happened yesterday. I was so tired already. I've been working out like crazy these days. Maxing out all my compound movements. If you follow me on Instagram, I think you'll realize. I don't think I have my personal Instagram on here. I do have the airborne geek Instagram, which is like dead. Simple takeoff says glad to be here, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. We should stream together sometime. Me, you, and Sim Chronicles, Rahul. I'm talking straight. I'm talking so much and we are still on this freaking arrival so long okay we are at 11,000 I'm gonna just Simple takeoff says, uh, yeah, a shared cockpit session. Haven't had one before. Can you do shared cockpit in MSFS? I don't even know. Yeah, I've never done it before. By the way, do any of you guys have uh, the latest update from uh, FS Realistic? So I don't know why, but I cannot figure out how to get, how to get my character out of the airplane and like on the ground because there's this feature that they've added first person fe feature where you can walk around the aircraft and <coughs> inspect it or whatever. You can run around the aircraft also, but for some reason I just, I set up the hotkeys and everything. I just couldn't figure it out. I was thinking of doing a video about it, but 
I couldn't figure out how to enable that feature. I don't know if simple takeoffs or KTL or any of you guys in the chat own that. Simple takeoff says, yeah, I've seen people do it. Not sure how. Yeah, not sure. I'm not sure as well. By the way, everyone who's watching, go subscribe to simple takeoffs. Amazing guy. Great streams. I usually watch his stream when I'm when I'm in class or something. I don't want to pay attention. Okay, we are almost there. I've talked so much that now I'm panicking whether everything is good or not. <laughs> kind of disconnected from the whole flight. I don't know how streamers talk and still do stuff. 123,400. How much will we use by the time we are down? 24 LBs per minute. Uh, we'll be down in... Uh, 2016, 25, so about, about 10 minutes to 50. So I think I can put in 20, I, I can put in 123, 12. Laps 3, low auto brakes. Uh, runway is 27. Runway quality is dry. Oh, really? Okay. We need to do a medium brake takeoff and uh, landing. Okay. A lot of people joined in today. Thanks a lot, guys. Means a lot. I would have never thought that I would have like 10 viewers on stream. <laughs> I'm actually really boring in person. Let's see how this landing goes. Ah, the winds are not supportive. But let's see. KTL says nice relaxing stream. Thanks a lot. Like I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hook up my piano, do a long flight and then we'll play piano on stream. And the fun part is the piano sound won't be coming through the mic. It will actually be coming from, because I have a MIDI keyboard. It will be coming from the software directly. There will be no, no loss, no noise, whatever, like pure piano sound. There will be a lot of fun. Instead of hearing these engine rumbles, I'm sure that is peaceful too. I just need to figure out how to get my software audio into OBS so that um, the studio one audio into OBS. I think it should be easy. I'm halfway there on figuring that out. Our decel point is here. So we'll hold off on uh, getting into approach mode until then. Verify if we are on the right frequency. 111.3271 we are good
Yeah. The winds are going to be trouble today. Shit. I wanted to have a nice clean landing on this. But let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't. I thought it just enabled approach mode, but if it if it would enable approach phase, then uh, you would only be left with the green dot speed. These uh, magenta constraints would go away. Okay, now we go for a nice steep turn into Boston, and then we'll be there. Approach checklist, ecam status, we'll check that. Approach type and runway, it's all good. Minima, we have entered that approach phase. Okay. It's fine. Whenever it spools up like that, it scares me. Barrow ref, we have checked and entered. Landing, auto brake is set. Missed approach altitude, we'll set it later. What is our missed approach altitude? I think it was 4000. If I'm not wrong, 3000, okay, 3000. 3000 is already set. Is there a heading, missed approach heading? Pretty sure there was no heading. Uh, outbound of boss view are radial 268, two, okay, 268 radial. We can go straight out and then set our radial in case we have to do it. But mostly we won't have to do a missed approach. Lights and all good. I am going to activate approach phase now. Don't want to delay that part. Again, it's a flaps three landing. So are we already at one? Yeah, we are at green dot. I'm going to enable flaps one and then slowly get to flaps. How far are we? 15 nautical miles. feel like medium auto brakes is too much but we'll just go with it for today oh i know why i know why it told us to do medium auto brakes maybe because i selected no max rever yeah there you go if i do max reversers does it reduce the distance no it doesn't hmm Maybe it's the winds. Don't know. Let's enable approach and let's have the LSS on. We'll be able to see the runway from quite far enough. Okay, flaps too. We are at 11 miles. At about 6 nautical miles, I'm going to get the gears down. Actually, that whole runway calculation might make sense because 27 is a short runway. Very bloomy.
you guys will be able to see my landing rate before but usually what i do is i land and then i go to volanta and check my landing rate okay we are on it has captured the glide slope let's see if six miles yeah so i'm going to go gear down here and right away we'll arm the arm the ground spoilers thousand six hundred once we have three greens on here I can go laps three a little bit early but I like setting up early like you all know by now I want to try auto land on this as well but I don't want to try auto land while I cannot actually <laughs> land this aircraft properly I want to try it after I master it otherwise everyone, everyone will be like oh this guy is auto landing the landing is the fun part right miss that part um, config 3 why does it say I think it's asking for full flaps because I had set this to I thought whatever is capital actually gets set today I'm definitely not going full flaps be too slow wow look at that crab look at that crab holy shit this is not a good day to try a new aircraft I hope it won't give us a warning man because there's blue on the what if I do like this and then come back <laughs> it's too smart <laughs> anyone know how to fix this last minute I have it on config 3 now but it doesn't go away okay focus thousand feet will take over One thousand. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Ten headwinds, but it's bouncing around quite a lot. One thing that Rahul told me yesterday: do not trust the papi lights. Do not trust the uh, magenta blob on the freaking. Oh look, there's no there's no papi lights. Yeah, I forgot. ILS 27 is like there's no papi lights at all. There's no guidance. We are going all visual. It's bouncing around quite a bit. Hundred above. You probably feel it uh, from those throttle inputs, right? Bouncing around quite a bit. Minimum. Minimums continue. Four. I'm probably a little high. Three hundred. Again, quite bouncy. Two hundred. One hundred. Aiming for the number. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Okay, 60 knots. Reversers can come out. I honestly don't know how that landing was. And we did not need medium auto brakes, for sure. Pretty sure we did not need medium auto brakes. Welcome to Boston.
थैंक यू सिंपल टेक ऑफ सेज वेलकम टू बॉस्टन डिसेंट लैंडिंग आई वुड से बट आई वॉजेंट ऑन द सेंटर लाइन वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू गो हैड एंड चेक इज बटर येस वॉट वॉज द लैंडिंग रेट आई डेंट लुक एट द स्ट्रीम सो आई डोंट नो गो चेक ऑन ऑन वोलांटा यूजली द स्ट्रीम थिंग गिवज अ हायर लैंडिंग रेट दैन वॉट वोलांटा गिवज Okay so this landing was at least uh, I felt it was much better than what we did the uh, on the other two streams in the last two days so we are getting better definitely getting better i'm going to park right here i don't want to waste your time and taxiing to the gates let's go over to volanta and check what we did where we landed kdl says 124 wow not bad at all 124 great Let's go to Volanta. The first thing that I check is where did we land? Exact. Well, yeah, a little bit further, but nothing major. See, this is where I lost the center line, and then I overcorrected for it, and then went on this side. But since I'm using, uh, since I'm using the rudder pedals. Oh well, since I'm not using the rudder pedals. i'm using the twist action joystick it's a little weird to control the yaw on this when i was using the rudder pedals it was very easy okay now let's see what we did it says minus 234 on this one but it said minus 124 on stream i'll take the lower one <laughs> i'll choose the lower one Anyways, let's start our APU and ground spoilers can come out. Let's clean up the aircraft. ADL says you thought you saw one twenty. You know what? Let's not think about it. Let's actually see it. Why think about it? There we go. Let's analyze our landing here. Okay so until this point everything was great doing beautiful still doing great this is where i felt that i was a little high so i started over correcting for it 900 feet per minute and it got more and more wobbly again too high over corrected for it and here i think i was a little low but that's fine and then this is where i should have applied a little bit of actually you know what no it's not bad at all but i bounced a little bit that was the problem what i should have done yeah so i think what i should do is start flaring from about 30 feet and idle the throttle at 20 feet because this touchdown was fine i should have just flared a little early and i should have idled the throttle a little because it seemed like it had too much power going into the touchdown so if you look at the 
if you look at the thrust here you will see that by mistake i enabled reverses at the end so i idle it here i idle it too late and then i enabled reverses by uh, at the end by mistake right before this over see that i clicked on the reverses button by mistake weird anyways much better than the other two days we are getting better i'll take that tomorrow we are going to do the river visual approach so that is going to be a lot of fun that will test test the ability to fly this uh, phoenix manually all right lot of people joined in today thanks ktl thanks uh simple takeoffs pego murtada everyone who joined today on stream rahul as well and i'll see you tomorrow where we'll do another short flight probably boston to washington and tomorrow is a river river visual approach so no matter if i f if i do well or if i fail it is going to be fun anyways just Uh, looking at how that uh, approach looks so come join me tomorrow watch me pass or fail let's see what happens i won't bore you with uh, going in and parking this aircraft at the gates so see you all tomorrow thanks again and uh, have a good night good day good afternoon good evening whatever you wherever you are at boy